developing a marketing campaign. Dear student, the following presentation is in the form of short paragraphs and bullet points accompanied by an audio voiceover by a lecturer. The worksheets that accompany the presentation go into much more detail to help you pass with flying colours. We're here to help you achieve. A successful marketing campaign is one which makes money. Marketing is very important. It will increase your market share. It will help you to understand your customer needs. It will boost your sales, which will give you more revenue and therefore higher profits. It increases brand awareness, recognition and recall. It helps to launch a new product successfully. It enables you to sell in a new market. It encourages customer retention and loyalty, and it can build the reputation of your organization. The main aspects to successful marketing. Now you have to understand the customer wants and the needs. Now they may not be the same thing. So a customer may think they want a tablet, but actually they need a laptop to play their collection of DVDs. So differentiate between needs and wants in your promotion. Developing new products. So get customer ideas via feedback. So you'll be fairly confident that your product will sell. Reducing costs and therefore improving profitability. Increasing market share. Now, ideally, you want to become market leaders. Market share can be measured by volume of goods sold or by value of goods sold, pounds, dollars or yen. Diversification is when you move into a totally new area. So think about Sainsbury's moving into banking. Increased brand awareness and loyalty. Now, customers will either consciously or subconsciously seek out a brand, maybe due to loyalty. A very high level of brand awareness is when you use the name of a brand to talk about a generic product. So think about, would you say Hoover rather than vacuum cleaner? Would you say sellotape rather than sticky tape? Would you say biro? rather than pen or would you say jacuzzi rather than hot tub market share the percentage of the total sales of a product that is made by one company competitive advantage so the the advantage gained by offering superior goods or services to those of the competition business objectives short-term targets you want to achieve in the first few months or the first year they should be smart, so specific, focusing on one target at a time. Measurable, achievable, realistic, time related. Stakeholders and their influence. These are people directly affected by your business. So think about your owner. They've got views on how you should do things. Employees, they have opinions. They also have legal rights. Customers regarding price, quality, delivery, etc. Financiers, anyone who lends to you or invests in you and they will want their return. Suppliers who want prompt payment in full. Goods are physical products. Services could include things like hotels or banking, accountancy or insurance. Types of goods. So consumables are goods that customers have to keep buying as they get used up. So things like toothpaste, soap, food or drink. Convenience goods, inexpensive items that we buy often. So things like chocolate, milk or magazines. Durable goods, items that will last. So think about TVs or furniture. Luxury goods, they're not needed, but they are wanted. So think about jewellery, yachts, or an expensive watch. Capital goods, used to make another product, so typically a machine. Consumer goods, these are bought for or by the end user. B2B, 
business to business selling to an industrial buyer or to a retailer for resale raw materials or to make other products b2c business to consumer selling to people who buy the goods for their own use in other words the end user typical features of b2b so it could be promoting the product at a trade fair selling high volumes to fewer buyers talking to potential purchasers face to face giving a demonstration or a presentation discounts payment terms installation features of b2c persuading people to purchase market research finding out customer wants and buying habits and selling small quantities to lots of people financial services could be things like banking or accountancy personal services could be hairdressing manicure or tattooing a business service could be things like IT mass market identical products sold in large numbers across all different age ranges niche marketing much more specialized such as selling a tractor or a prosthetic limb or kosher or halal food market orientated businesses identify the needs and the wants of their customers and then make products to meet these needs or wants product orientated businesses focus on their areas of expertise to produce innovative items think about dyson think about apple three types of business model so sales model will focus on selling goods that have already been produced revenue comes from sales or commission so think about amazon primark or ebay the advertising model is about earning revenue from other businesses advertising so think about itv facebook or youtube the marketing model will focus on relating to customers and responding to their needs so think about nike cadbury or virgin bait and hook model so the product is cheap the add-ons are expensive so think about a cheap razor and expensive blade a cheap printer and expensive cartridge branding the identification of a product or a company that is instantly recognizable it's used to create a clear image that people can recognize and show that that product is from a particular company the brand gives a clear message to customers about what they can expect from their purchase so think about mcdonald's value and convenience for a fashion store it might be style and fashion a brand can be a strategy a long-term plan for the promotion of a company or a product it could be the perception in a customer's mind so how do they see the product or the business it must represent everything the company stands for so think about innocent the drinks company it has a pure and natural brand image a brand can be a logo so a symbol placed on a product so people know exactly what company that will be so think about the nike swoosh a brand can be a legal instrument it is the property of its owner nobody else can profit from this legal instrument a brand can be a company so think about virgin the virgin brand lots of different things they do but virgin is a brand a brand can be a personality so the perception in the brand makes it almost like a person a brand can be a vision so brands are created with the intention of using them on a whole range of products so think about the brand easy which includes hotels car rental and offices a brand can be an identity so it gives a company a unique identity that makes it different to other companies so think about how it makes you feel so porsche cars have a luxury feel okay how it makes you feel a brand can be an image so associations with a company so bmw you think about reliability a brand could have five components so things like logo colors symbols images or celebrity endorsement so think about the brand name for example the word the name nike 
or a logo, the Nike swoosh. Slogan, Nike's just do it. Or a color, the NHS rainbow. Okay, and these could be trademark, so other companies can't do the same thing or very, something very similar. They can raise customer awareness and they can help to gain market leadership. Brand image. So think about the image of success or affluence. So think about Dolce and Gabbana, Rolf Lauren or Christian Dior, or a casual trendy image such as for Superdry. Brand personality. This gives a product human attributes and reflects how people feel about the brand. So think about the Churchill Insurance Bulldog. It is faithful, solid, and reliable. Brand extensions. So these are adapted products. So think about Mars and Galaxy with their ice cream. Think about Coca-Cola with Coke Zero, Coca-Cola Light, Vanilla Coke, Peach Coke, Cherry Coke. Brand stretch, when you add a totally unrelated product. So think about Virgin with airlines, trains, banking or space travel. Apple, you think about innovation. Adidas, reliability. Starbucks or Costa, friendly service. Topshop or Next, it's trendy. Budget will affect your marketing plan, so you cannot overspend and you have to justify your expenditure based on your impact on your sales. You may be limited by your staff. So do you have specialists or do you have a lack of specialists? And that will affect your marketing plans as well. If you do not have specialist staff, you have to bring them in and that can be very expensive. Internal influences on marketing activity. So think about the cost of your campaign. This will affect the methods that you use. You need a plan B for any unexpected events. Overspending on the budget could lead to cuts elsewhere, such as staff redundancies. Cash flow difficulty. So if the supplier demands early payment, that will affect your cash flow. If there's an overspend or if a customer has not paid you on time, that will affect your finances. Staff expertise. If this is lacking in any way, such as in advertising or artwork, then you have to bring in people from outside and this can be very expensive. Size and culture of the business. So a small family business may rely solely on personal recommendation. Why are some ideas so successful? Well, it could be that you found an innovative solution. So you've solved a problem by thinking about something new. Or you've met customer needs. You've, you're selling things that people want at the right price, giving something different, such as free delivery or a personal service. So try to find your USP, your unique selling point. Have you identified a new need? So think about the rise of digital media, online selling, online education. Have you been very entrepreneurial? So take risks and be persistent. Have a strong vision and see that vision through. So learn from your mistakes and never give up. Guys, thank you for listening. Please could you subscribe and like as it helps us to produce more and better videos like this in the future. Also, could you comment below what type of information you would like in the future as a guideline for us? Thank you again, guys, and see you all again soon.